Good evening. It is episode two of Vlogging Nonsense with me, Ian, and Jamie from Country in UK. And we're going to be bringing you all the random things that from this week, from England games today to finding honky tonks in London on a Friday night and Nashville nights last Saturday. Some music I stuff. Complete, I completely forgot that Nash Nights was only like a week ago. Has it been that long a week? Well, I've been like I've been back in the office. Like now we're back in the office a little bit more. It's like just starting to drag kind of a little bit. And what kind of doesn't help was that yesterday my sort of oh finishing nice and early on Friday, you know I'll just sort of be civilised. And when two of my mates say hey do you want to go for beers, you know and obviously as World War Three is potentially about to erupt, we naturally went to the safest place on earth where everyone would go and sat in Weatherspoons up in Highbury. Um, and then managed to materialise into a random trip to the most amazing bar on earth. Because London has a honky tonk, like a genuine country bar that plays. Uh, there's, they haven't got live music at the moment. There's something they might look to start. But that, you know, the whole playlist and things, it's old school southern rock and country. It's got all the sort of signs. It kind of has all the sort of vibe, the way the bar set out and everything. It just feels like being in Robert's Western world. So, you know, that was really great for us to discover. Um, it's called the Duke's Head. Um, and it's up in Highgate on the high street in, in Highgate. Um, so if you're kind of heading up there, you, you go to Highgate on the Northern line. Going back from there, if you're leaving, you'd probably want to go to Archway because Highgate High Street's a really big hill, as I realised. And trying to like, I'll tell you what, I was going down this hill when I was like half cut at like 12 o'clock last night. And it was like, God, like, this is, I wouldn't want to be walking up this. Um, but yeah, it's a, you know, it's really good. Like the, the prices seem decent. They have quite a few like import beers and stuff you won't find. Like the whole fridge is sort of stocked up with like you know cans american lagers and all that they do pbr on draft um i'm not a huge fan of it brendan thought it was really nice my mate who i went with but it was just a really cool spot and then as a result i didn't do much today uh unlike you who had a far well, more productive i'm just day. going to add the banner because they've got the best social name going it is Instead of Dukes of Hazard, it's Dukes of Highgate, which I think is definitely up there. So yeah, down there somewhere. Give them a follow. It's yeah, so, yeah. So that's so that that that's their Insta handle, and you know Theo, the guy that that runs it, he's he's great. Um, I got to speak to him last night, and like I say, for anyone that does music and things as well, and it's based around here, they're definitely looking to start trying to find ways of live music. Uh, they're they're trying it. I think they've been open about six months. Um, I think they're trying it for the first time tomorrow, um, so probably today by the time this sort of goes out from Sunday night, and and then from there they definitely want to look to try and do things. And say so the staff there are great. Uh, it's it's a really nice, really nice part of London. Now, but there is one downside of going out on a Friday night in that you forgot to do your fancy football team. Oh yeah, massively. I still have, how many like, players have you got in your team this week? I don't even think I have 11 that are playing this week. Um, and I, I had Salah as captain. I think my vice captain was like uh, Dennis from Watford, who didn't score or do anything. So, yeah, I don't even think I've got 11 players to kind of get the points from. So tomorrow, Salah's not playing in the Premier League. He's playing the League Cup final at Wembley. This this is a rather wonderful link for one of the pieces of news Seamless. for the week. It's almost as if that you planned this. this what is good. could the League Cup final possibly have to link in with country music here in the UK? So I we wonder. found out yesterday that there will be a UK country artist singing the national anthem. Is that right? Yeah, that's yeah. From what I've seen, yeah. So yeah, so, so twenty is going to be doing the national anthem. She is from Liverpool, so that is the Liverpool link as well. So, yeah, she will be there before the cup final. Ah, yeah, I didn't think of the link. But, yeah, so obviously that, that's strange because, like, I, I'd never sort of thought that we have people... Because always, it's always Laura Wright. Like, that's kind of seems to be have the monopoly 
on singing the anthem at things. It's not the kind of the same as in America, where like obviously they get somebody that does it for kind of every game, every sports event has it. You know, because for anyone that's kind of not in the UK before any domestic sports games here, no one does the anthem unless it's a final. Um, and yeah, and whenever it is, it's generally sort of the classical tenor that tends to be the person that sings it. And it's like, you know, because we're quite as Brits, it's like, this is how things are done. We do things this way and don't piss around with it. Um, yeah, it's sort of like, it's not, you, you can't really do a good anthem, I think, as a Brit. I think you can generally only fuck it up. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's the best way to describe it. Because everyone's, that must be a record at seven minutes before it's, before we've kind of had any swearing, which is a massive improvement on last That's week. not bad, considering that even the um, the Instagram link that I did had one in it, so. Did it? The song, yeah, the song on Instagram had, had swearing in it, so I was like, oh, I kind of failed there in my trying not to swear straight away. But, yeah, so that's obviously great for Twinny, and she'll get to see that, and everyone will get to see her on the telly, and I think, you know, we'll all obviously be rooting for her and it'll be great and it's a wonderful opportunity for her with that i am now um, quite curious to find out how people get chosen to sing the national anthem yeah yeah as you say, it's not done very often so it's no i can't i can't believe it's someone's job to find someone to sing the anthem but it must be so no but it's, i suppose like everything there is somebody that has like a really pointless random job and it's like their sole purpose in life is to just do one thing so there is probably one person that is like their their role is to be like the anthem delegator. Like <laughs> that would look that would look great on an email signature, wouldn't it? Official anthem delegator. I will find the perfect singer for every event. Yeah. So yeah, so that's obviously like twenty uh, tomorrow, which is great, and that's Liverpool are playing Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. I'm only going on yeah. who's not playing you my fantasy team. Well, no, I was trying to work out because it's like... It's I've, I've got, it must be Chelsea. Yeah, because it's like I've got City players and they got they were getting points. I didn't see the final score with City, but I've got Bernardo and two of the defenders, so they're playing. Yeah, this is mainly my knowledge of the Premier League. It comes down to... I only know who's playing who because of fantasy football. That's it. And yeah. who's not playing. But yeah, so outside of... Of football and randomness and kind of in London um we've had a couple of like announcements this week in regard to festivals uh the long road added a couple of names uh yesterday so Chris Young will headline on the Saturday which is great news he's coming back Drake White Drake White will be uh, headlining the interstate stage on the Friday uh, which I think the majority of people kind of expected he was probably going to be playing that festival anyway, because he's at Millport the weekend before, and some of the guys at CTC have kind of, not CTC, uh, Long Road have kind of been announced for Millport as well, like with Sunny Sweeney, and there'll be, uh, I know at least one other that will be, but they haven't announced who that is on. Uh, and then Cadillac Free have also announced their tour, so they're going to be doing, I think it's, the sort of dates around Long Road, they'll be doing their tour, yeah. which is obviously meant to be where were we kind of November time, November, December time that was meant to be, I think. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so that's been rearranged now for the end of next year. Yeah. Obviously, they were meant to have um, Brent Cobb, wasn't it? Was meant to come with them. So, yeah. whether or not he'll be back, we don't know, but we wait to find out on who's going to be supporting yeah. them. Yeah. So, ho hopefully, like some of those guys that have been added for the Long Road are, are going to play some more dates. We said, obviously, Chris is the main headliner for the Saturday. Um, Drake doing the, the Friday. And then kind of the other, the other sort of big net or names of note kind of on there. Priscilla Block, she's going to be playing the main stage at Long Road. And she's obviously going to be at C2C in a couple of weeks' time. And Rumour as well, which is going to be really good to see Sarah uh, kind of playing some shows again. Um, now that she's living back over here so you know looking forward to that and a lot of the rest of the announcement that was the additional for tlr was the people playing richie palmer's uh, curated stage on sunday 
so it's obviously really good they're kind of saying what they're we're doing you know on that kind of diversity side and all the great things that Rissy does on that stage I know um Chapel Heart are amongst them they're, they're the only act I, that were there that I knew of by name uh to be honest so I think obviously once once we get through the nitty-gritty of CPC and we'll start thinking ahead to the summer and you know get to know some of those acts a little bit more and be able to talk about um and then CTC themselves um made a kind of a little bit more of an announcement this week as well saying the day splits for all of the outside stages so the entrance stage town square the bbc2 stage at indigo the country music week hub which is upstairs at all bar one and also the artist playing the icon stage and the, uh garden stage but they haven't said on those last two stages who's playing what day and also on the news with the o2 uh it reopened yesterday which is fantastic uh the main arena and the indigo and all the kind of entertainment avenue kind of businesses are fully open um but at present the shopping outlet is not open because they haven't actually you know Decathlon didn't have the right size bit to fix. The oh, is that the yeah. side the roof's at? So it's on the it's on the shopping side, is everything? Yeah, so it's it's right over the outlet on the on the the shopping side. So it's on the the river side of the O2, which everyone saw. But that's as you come into the entrance to the O2, that's kind of the exact opposite side to where you come in. Um, so for, from I I was gonna I was gonna plan to sort of pop up today so I had nothing better to do um but then I was really hung over and didn't get out of bed um as, as I addressed before um but from what people what people have been up there to the cinema and things have said is that at the moment that the shopping center part isn't open and nobody has any idea when the roof is going to be fixed so obviously that could have a bit of an impact in regard to that icon stage but we don't know yeah, you would think they could probably move that somewhere if it's a big enough place that yeah it was never more, like acoustic stage isn't it really so yeah well where where that was like so when you when you this is a really great sort of visual metaphor if people don't know the arena setup when you the the o2 is a big tent essentially in the middle of the tent is a big circle which is the arena and all the way around the outside of the middle part like you can walk all the way around now as a circle and so you sort of enter the arena at like seven o'clock that you enter the, the dome at seven o'clock and then kind of from seven o'clock round to probably three o'clock is the kind of the main what was before where's all the restaurants and the bars and all the way around the other part is uh, the shopping outlet so there's two big elevators on the left as you go in by all bar one and like the icon stage when they had it before was you know probably 100 200 meters sort of round that side so not quite as far as where things are but to so say hopefully we'll get some more news um nearer the time but you know it's in kind of i don't see it being a, a huge issue and in, in regards to the new names, we, we talked about a lot of people playing last week, but um, pretty much all UK acts that have been announced on there. You've got Tim Protty Jones, you've got Katie Hurt, Gary Quinn. Um, who else was on there? Harley Danny Mac. Don, yeah, Harley. Oh, Brendan will hate me that he didn't mention the <laughs> first, wasn't he? Um, yeah, Danny McMahon, a few others, and also uh, Caitlin Baker and Ruthie Collins are the only two new uh, non-UK acts. And obviously it's really great because Ruthie's, uh, Ruthie's a friend of ours and we're really excited that she's coming over and going to kind of be playing more. And then she's obviously got those dates with Sam Outlaw pretty much straight after. So, yeah. So and they've also announced the start times. They've done Friday... Is starting at midday so not too bad you get oh. a bit of a lion saturday and sunday considering you're going you've got a late night friday and definitely late night saturday night someone's got to get a train back to the sticks back to the yeah. countryside it starts at 10 a.m is the first live music well i i i kind of i tried to look like where we're starting to 
build up pieces ready for like for Cathedral of the Axe that are playing and things. There's obviously there's a couple that we've we're speaking to, so we put out a piece of Haley Witters a couple of weeks back. Uh, spoke to Peniel Towns, and you know we're really lucky that she's doing a special little event on the Saturday at the O2 that you know we're we're very fortunate to be attending. But also, there are competition entries open for that as well. Yeah, so there is. So if you if people check out Peniel and the C to C like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. There is a way for it's an event with Chenil Towns in the O2 Blue Room, which is sort of by invite only, and you can sort of apply to get tickets for that. Um, from I think it's half past one till about quarter past two. She's going to play some songs, um, answer a few questions from people that are there, and she's going to have one or two friends along with her, um, which we 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 kind of suspect we. Who it might we're be. guessing we're, we're guessing between links of her previous releases and who's on the c to c bill and yeah we got we got nationalities of a few people as well aren't we yeah we're, we're, we're kind of looking at that there's you know one of her best friends that's been on tour with her like they're over here and also there's a number of other canadians as well so it'd be cool if you know it could be a complete surprise it could be someone that's not even on the bill who knows um so yeah um, but yeah, so if you, if you want to kind of get to see Chanel a little bit closer, she's she's working a lot in new music, which you can read about in the the interview we did with her. Um, so and she she said she's going to be looking to be playing songs from the Lemonade Stand, her album that she released during the pandemic, which is a current Juno Award winning album for Country Album of the Year, and also Canadian Country Music Association Album of the Year as well. So she's going to play songs off that and also she's really keen to be kind of putting in one or two new songs um as well as the three that she's released uh since the album came out so yeah and she's she's so cool to neil and so if you do get a chance and you you know you're lucky enough to get along that you know you'll really really enjoy that and there's plenty more interviews coming up that we've already got lined up and jamie's been busy sliding into artist dms he may have had a few too many drinks one evening and sent me a screenshot of one he'd sent. So he's been busy. He's doing his research. So there's plenty more to but, come. Do not worry. Well, yeah, like I say, we've, we've, we've been re researching a lot of acts playing. Like my, my research got very badly sidetracked because I was looking through people's like bios and like YouTube videos and back catalogs and stuff. And I just ended up going for a complete bowling for soup rabbit hole. And just kind of sat kind of you know watching all their old videos and things for about half an hour um that that might sound a very random sort of why we're talking about an early noughties um sort of pop punk band when we're talking about c to c apps that are playing um, uh, yeah i didn't even recognize the name so for those no. who don't know jarrett ray reddick yeah is the lead singer of Bowling for Soup, who did actually just release a song this weekend as well that I probably would never have known had we not been talking about them earlier in the week. So, yeah, I, I ran into them once at an airport where we were at kind of 15, 16 years ago, got very drunk on a layover at Newark Airport with them. So, yeah, we, we're trying to find out if we can get an interview with him because we think that'd be brilliant. Yeah. But yeah. J Jarrett is not whose DMs I've been sliding into, just in case anybody is wondering. I think you should, but I think that's your next your next drunken DM to slide into. To be, to be fair, it's like it's, it's it's just I've genuinely been quite good. Like obviously, I like if you if you don't have the privilege of following my own personal uh, account on Instagram, where you can see how much of a complete and utter shit show my life is twenty four seven and all the random stuff that goes on. Um, like I was. Yeah, I was sort of like, yeah, this bar's amazing. You should come and just sort of went sort of on a tag crazy like thing of like all my friends in Nashville. And it's like, why do I do this to myself? Why? Why am I like this? Um, but a lot of said yes to coming. So that's always a good sign. You haven't scared them yeah. off. No, it's good. And it's like, well, we, we've kind of got an idea of, you know, a couple more people we think are going to be around during c to that we can get to hang out with, hopefully. So looking forward to that um and that's kind of life in what's going coming forward um with with stuff we've talked about c2 we talked about long road we've said 
you know, make sure you get your ass to the Duke's head. It's a great bar. Um, Ian enjoyed his day at rugby. I enjoyed my hangover. Um, and yeah, there's been, there has been some new music that's generally the whole idea of what we, why we wanted to do this was like, oh, it's a great way to talk about new releases. And we've talked shit for 21 minutes and it's like, we just sort of, it's like, oh yeah, we should probably sort of cover this at the end. But just um, so we move from C to C to a C to C artist then who's released music. That would be good. That that's would a, definitely that is a that I think that's quite another smooth transition. So it's a very smooth transition. I'm doing well at this. I'll be taking one of my mates' jobs before he knows it. So Tim Hicks um will obviously be at C to C. He was over should, scheduled to be over two years ago. So I saw him in Berlin and caught up with him there. He's just released a new single called Whiskey Does this weekend, which is already getting some quite good streaming numbers. It's on the New Music Nashville playlist. It's not, it's been on the um, Amazon billboard in Toronto. So it's getting some quite good coverage. And then another Canadian artist, a good friend of ours, who will also be at Buckland Boots on the Sunday night this year, Dan Davidson has released his latest um, album. So I first listened to this about a month, six weeks ago or so. He sent it to me and I kind of totally forgot it had come out. So I felt quite bad. So <laughs> I now feel like I have to make our album of the week because I did no like push of it yesterday at all. Yeah. So it will be our album of the week. So it is actually on the homepage now. It's called, so it's by Dan Davidson. It's called Six Songs to Midnight. And it is only six tracks. So there's not many four of which he's kind of has released over the last 18 months throughout the lockdowns. And you can see a live version of I Do is actually on our YouTube vi YouTube videos that Dan did for us a couple of years back, which is quite cool. But there's yeah. one, definitely one of the two new songs that I think everyone should check out is called Don't Judge a Beer by the Label, which has got quite a catchy, um, right. definitely a little catchy tune. And I can see definitely a bit of a sing-along with the crowd coming up on a Sunday night. Yeah. At Buckland Boots, even though people are going back for work on the Monday, I'm sure it will be a definitely a sing along one. Yeah. And so you, got, you had a few as well, didn't you? Yeah, it's a, it's a couple of things. Obviously, Morgan Way, who are, you know, they're playing at C2C. I, I think they're the, the best at, that we have in the UK by a long, by a long way. Um, deserved winners of group duo of the year, group slash duo of the year at the BCMAs um, last year. And they're, I think they're playing both their sets on Sunday in the town square and uh, the big entering stage. Then you track Come Over. Um, that came out yesterday and they've got kind of like this, like a, a video on the YouTube and things you can check out with that as well. And also um, a couple other songs, both really, really nice songs. Um, Kylie Morgan, who was due to be at C2C two years ago, um, sadly isn't coming this year, but she's one of my favourite artists. I think she's got one of the most incredible voices, you know, badass songwriter, massively, massively underrated uh, in Nashville. Like, seriously, I think she's one of the most, you know, under the radar artists in the whole of Music City and country music that's making things. Um, and her new track, Independent With You, is just, it's a really nice track. It's one that she's put a lot on her socials about recently, about that she's really wanted to sort of bring out and, you know, how she's just sort of got to the stage of when she's going to get married this year, is very comfortable with herself and being around Jay, but able to kind of be herself in that situation. Um, so that's a, a really nice track and it's a great one to listen to. And then the other one, a really, really personal track from Jenna Kramer, who doesn't put a huge amount of music out at the minute. So obviously she's doing a lot of a lot kind of more on the acting side. Um, the video for this song called The Story, it's all in black and white. Um, it's with her and her two kids, Jason Jolie, who if you follow her on Jenna on Insta, you, you'll kind of see it all the time that, you know, a lot of her life kind of is devoted to being a mum. Um, last year, she obviously went through her divorce and breakup uh, and so kind of going through a shared custody situation um, you know with, with her with Mike Cosson and it, this the song is basically her her way of saying to to her kids 
kind of trying to explain what's happened and it's yeah it's it's really deep and like i say the video is just absolutely beautiful all in black and white so yeah so that's kind of new stuff that like all of all of those i definitely sort of recommend listening to and it's like so we, we've sort of gone from talking about at the start of i got really pissed and randomly found a honky tonk in north london last night um so the O2 still got a hole in the roof and me finishing with kind of getting really deep talking about Jana's um, new single. And um, that's why it's so, called Logging Nonsense. You never really no, exactly. know what nonsense we're going to come out with next. But no, exactly. I think that's the whole sort of thing. And I think, you know, compared to last week, like we, even though the fact that we sort of wrote things down to have an idea what we were going to talk about, it's we ended up talking more crap than we did the first time so that's exactly uh what what things are and hopefully um i don't know if there's any big new releases coming no Dylan week. scott announced his album's going to be coming out but that's yeah. now not till august so we've got quite a few months to wait for that one that's going to be called living my best life so yeah that's august yeah. time but no there's not too much hopefully this week we'll have a few more interviews yeah, of we've got just two yeah, we've got now. a couple yeah. couple interviews lined up. So, say so the 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 Neil Town piece hit the site uh, earlier today. We're going to be chatting to Matt Stell. We're going to be talking to Everett, uh, and they're both coming over for C to C. And also, I'm going to be chatting to uh, Leah Catton, who's a girl out of Chicago, kind of splitting time between there and Nashville. And you know, she. She's got a really cool story about kind of her, you know, her new music and a lot of the work that she does for homeless outreach uh, up in Illinois. So, you know, look forward to sharing that with everybody as well. And I'm sure Jane would be sliding into more DMs to try and set up a couple more. I'm, I tell you, I'm, 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 I'm going to be really good this week. I've sort of, well, partly because my like, my bosses, 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 bosses come in to our office during the week. So it's massive best behaviour, kind of like being in work uh, during the week. And also, I've, just, I've sort of said to myself that I need to like protect my liver and my bank balance a little bit before C to C. Because obviously, while it's a very intense working weekend, um, and, you know, we do a lot of interviews, we sort of get around, we try and cover as much on the sites and try and you know, get things going. It's you know, it's a good opportunity to catch up with some people. Um, obviously, I'm you know, so I'm retiring. Just enjoy a glass of water and lemonade. Don't touch anything harder at all. Um, but yeah, so again, we're looking forward to it, and we'll be we'll be back next week to you know, vlog or blog, depending on which capacity you're viewing this. Whether you're on through Spotify or through the the tube of you, um. I'm more proud of myself. I found out how to do a, a podcast. I think I do quite No, well. I know. That's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And hope what we may even start doing a little bit is finding ways to um, put some of the audio for interviews and things as well at some point in the future. So if we get any people that are really fun to talk to, then we might look to kind of share those with you as well. But yeah, happy Saturday or Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Thursday, Thursday yeah. Friday depending when you happen to be watching or listening to this. Um, and yeah, and it's amazing that this will probably be the only time we'll do this when I'm A, completely sober and B, not drinking. Just hungover. Well, I don't know if I'm hungover. I was earlier, but yeah, I pretty much still am. I tried to make my own Taco Bell because I wanted like burritos earlier and realized that by the time I'd gone to the shop, bought all the ingredients, came back, made it. I could have, for like a quarter of the price, just walked Taco Bell, ordered it on my phone, like mobile order, come back and had it gone. But not just that, that it cost a loads more time, loads more money, um, but I just made a complete and utter mess in the kitchen. Um, and as I was telling Ian earlier, the other beauty is I don't generally have dairy at all so i've cut out uh, i've cut out milk i've cut out like mayonnaise I, I don't eat eggs anyway i don't have butter or margarine either um 
and like so I, I basically cut cheese out as well it took a little bit longer and but i haven't had cheese for a long time so i bought kind of a bag of grated cheese um and yeah my guts aren't a big fan of me they're regretting that decision it's like jane you absolute scumbag so last night you pound us with booze and now you're going to make this cocktail party even more exciting putting some lactose in here that we haven't had for like six months um so yeah with that picture for everybody exactly that's the perfect way to end the show thanks for tuning in listening all that sort of thing join follow us on socials on twitter and the gram and facebook and that's look we're not cool enough for tiktok i think we have got tiktok have we we've got tiktok <laughs> hold on i'm gonna check i think we i've have never got... i i don't even have the app people we have got say, TikTok. Oh, you, all the people that go oh you should follow me on tiktok and all this and i'm like yeah cool and it's like i haven't got a clue it's a really i just think it's a really weird our, our last video has 687 views on tiktok there you go Sounds one of my my, my my friend Courtney was really pleased with herself yesterday that she posted something. She baked cakes and she made a video of her baking cakes and got over a million views in like 12 hours. And she was oh, like, maybe 687 isn't that good then. Um, but some of them are massive because we obviously mentioned Priscilla Block before. She's an example of an artist that kind of got her break through TikTok, really. And she's obviously playing CC and Long Road. Um, but yeah, her. You know, she was very close to, you know, having nowhere to live. You know, she lost a job during the pandemic and kind of just started putting out things through through TikTok. And, you know, two of those singles went massive and it managed to kind of hit her off as a start to a career. So maybe we need to invest more time into learning how to be down with the kids. <laughs> A- action point. Learn TikTok. Learn, well, is, that, is that the next one? No, I think that'll be too much effort. I mean, I still, you know, I've still been reluctant to sliding into other people's DMs. So well, um, I can put this on Twitch as well if you want. But I don't know how that works either. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm just terrible. As people probably saw before, my internet just sort of died on me in the middle of it. Um, but yeah, again, prime example of the fact that this has no relevance to do with much whatsoever, but. You know, check out those new tracks, check out the Tim Hicks track, listen to Dan Davidson's album, Morgan Way, Jana uh, and, and Kylie Morgan. Um, have a listen to those. They're all, you know, things definitely worth listening to. And, you know, if you haven't got your tickets for CTC or Long Road, Buckle and Boots, uh, Millport, uh, um, I want to call it Georgie Fields, but it's uh, tennis. Tennessee Fields, Black Deer. Black Deer. Oh my God. We've got so many of them coming up. So, um, we'll be there. Yeah. It's going to be a fun year and it all kicks off big time, two week time, country to country, on the Thursday night at the Indigo at the O2 with the CMA Songwriters uh, series featuring Caitlin Smith, Shy Carter, Luke Dick, and. I want to say Russell Dickerson, but I might be making that up. Um, that sounds about right. That does sound about right. And then obviously the Friday in London, we have Priscilla Buck, Tierra, uh, who we are going to be hopefully speaking to in the run-up to CTC, uh, Morgan Wade uh, doing the Introducing Nashville round with Russell Dickerson, Kit Moore, Miranda Lambert. Then Saturday, Darius Rucker headlining, um, Brett, yeah, um, yeah, Brett Young, uh, Scotty McCreary, Camille Towns, and on Sunday, Luke Combs, Ashley McBride, Flatland Cavalry, Hayley Witters. Boom. I hadn't even written that down. I'm quite amazed I remember that. Um, and You've been getting too many emails. And who's on which day as well. And, you know, hopefully next week we'll do a little bit more talking about who our picks are going to be for who you need to be checking out uh, in the run-up team on uh you know get streaming things get ready for who you're going to catch on those daytime stages and yeah so i'm going to be a very sensible adult and have an early night on a saturday for probably the first time in about 10 years 
Well, he, he once told me these vlogs were going to be about five minutes long. We're no, I know, but this is what I meant. This is why we've just chatted shit and it's like, great. But um, so, yeah, if people have any feedback uh, or whatever, then please feel free to leave it. Um, and we'll try not to chat this much shit again in the future. Because we have just gone like, it's just been like full on rabbit hole today. It's the way to do it. Good night, all. Best way. Au revoir.